possible naked eye comet to visit Earth for the first time in 50,000 years? This is by Robert Lee, Space.com. If the comet continues to brighten as it currently is, it could be visible in dark skies with a naked eye. The comet C2022E3 ZTF could be bright enough to be spotted with a naked eye as it passes the Sun and Earth and at the end of the first month of 2023, that's the end of January of course, at the start of 2023, Earth will be visited by a newly discovered comet that may just be bright enough to be spotted with a naked eye. So they just discovered it uh, this year. Well, that is 2022. The comet named C2022E3 ZTF currently passing through the inner solar system, it will make its closest approach to the sun or perihelion on January 12, so that's in five days, and it will then whip past Earth making its closest passage of our planet, its perihelion between February 1st and 2nd. If the comet continues to brighten, as it currently is, it could be visible in dark skies with the naked eye. This is difficult to predict for comets, but even if C2022E3 ZTF does fade, it should still be visible with binoculars or a telescope for a number of days around its closest approach. According to NASA, observers in the Northern Hemisphere will be able to find the comet in the morning sky as it moves in the direction of the Northwest during January, and that C2022E3 ZTF will become visible for observers in the Southern Hemisphere in early February 2023. Observers should look for a C2022E3 ZTF when the moon is dim in the sky. Well, we know what right now, basically we have full moon, so uh, uh, you'll have to wait a bit. With a new moon on January 21st, offering such an opportunity, weather permitting. According to the website Starlust, the comet will be in the Camelopardalis constellation during its close approach. If you're hoping to observe C2022E3 ZTF, our guides for the best telescopes and best binoculars are uh, a great place to start. If you're looking to snapshots of the night sky, check out guide on photographing, uh, photo uh, on how to photograph the moon, as well as best cameras for astro astrophotography and lens for astrophotography. According to NASA, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, the comet has a period of around 50,000 years. This means that prior to its coming to within around 100 million miles, that's 160 million kilometers of the sun on January 12, and 26 million miles of Earth on February 2nd, the last time it came so close was during the upper Paleolithic period on Earth. That means the last humans that could have spotted C2022E3 ZTF were early Homo sapiens alive during the last glacial period or ice age. So too could some say of the last Neanderthals as that species became extinct around 10,000 years ago after the last perihelion of C2022 E3 ZTF. Of course, the Neanderthals and early humans could not have known that C2022 E3 ZTF was and the comet was identified much more recently than the last ice age, the comet was spotted by the Wild Field Survey Camera at the Zwicky Transient Facility in early March 2022. Initially appearing to be an asteroid, C2022 E3 ZTF, which was inside the orbit of Jupiter at the time, soon began to brighten as comets do. At the time of its discovery, C2022 E3 ZTF had a magnitude of 17.3 brightness to a magnitude 10 in November and expected to eventually reach magnitude 6. Current images of C2022E3 ZTF show its coma surrounding halo of gas and dust glowing with a greenish hue and a long but faint cometary tail extending from its main body. This is from Space.com Robert Lee and its Unbedded Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.